हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर इलेवन फोर्स वर्क एंड एनर्जी इन द लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैड लर्न दैट अ पुल और अ पुश ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड फोर्स वी कैन मूव ऑब्जेक्ट्स और चेंज देयर शेप बाय अप्लाइंग फोर्स वी हैड ऑल्सो सीन दैट इन नेचर there are two types of forces that are acting all the time namely gravity and friction so dear students in today's session we are going to learn about gravity and friction so let's start with gravity what happens when we throw a ball up into the air it first rises up then seems to stop and then falls to the ground why does it fall down why doesn't it keep going upwards take another example you have a pencil and you just drop it why does it fall to the ground why it doesn't stay in the air or goes up do you ever think this is because of the force of gravity the force that pulls objects downwards towards the center of the earth is called gravity when you throw a ball up you throw it with a lot of force more than the force of gravity so it rises as the ball moves up it loses this force and then gravity pulls it down similarly leaves and ripe fruits always fall on the ground due to the force of gravity unless they are plucked imagine now that there is no gravity what would happen if you jumped off okay come out of your imagination next is friction friction occurs when two things rub together let us see with examples toss a ball on the ground after bouncing for some time the ball will slow down and come to a stop why is that so when a ruler is pushed across a table it stops after moving a certain distance in both the cases the ball and the ruler stop because of friction the force that is present when two things are in contact with each other is called friction when an object is in contact with a surface a force called force of friction acts between them this force resists the motion of the object on the surface as a result the object either slows down or stop moving when we are walking there is friction between our shoes and the ground if there is little or no friction we would slip and fall if there is no friction anything that starts moving will never stop let us see with an example if there would have been no friction and you kick the ball the ball would be moving indefinitely that is it will never slow down or stop so force of friction is essential however if there is too much friction nothing will move when you push your toy on a carpet it slows down or stop after some time now push the toy on a smooth floor does it go further yes because the force of friction is less on the smooth floor some people are skating on the ice how are they able to glide so smoothly on the ice it's because there is very little friction on ice in general material with smooth surface for example glass or ice 
cause less friction than materials with a rough surface for example carpet here the boy wants to go faster to enjoy the ride so should the friction be less or more there should be very less friction here is another example here in this bowling game there should be none or least friction so that the ball goes as fast as possible because the smoother the surface the lesser the friction so students in this topic we discussed two types of forces gravity and friction hope you must have understood it well that's all for now thank you